You are sitting in the train car. There is no one by your side. It's just that the heater under the window makes you warm. Outside, there is a dark landscape. Villages in the distance. And a few dim lights appear. Later, the train enters a dark tunnel. The lamps of the wagon flash a few times. Then it's dark again. At the end of the tunnel, light appears again. The tiredness you carry on your back all day bids you farewell in that tunnel. Several times, you take a deep breath and hold your breath. You don't quit right away. You are breathing through your nose. You are waiting. You breathe through your mouth. You take it from your nose. You are waiting. You give it orally. You repeat, taking deeper breaths. The weather is now completely dark. Of the ten lamps contained within the train, only three are lit. The rest must be corrupt. It's not a surprise at all on trains heading to the countryside. Nobody cares. On the train, the number of people increases and decreases at each stop. 9 dash, 8 dash, 7 dash, front dash, 11 dash, 9 dash, 9. Every time the train stops, it gets warmer for the passengers. You draw a cat's paw on the steamed glass of the train. A few people who see this make eye contact with you and smile silently. One more stop. The train doors open. You take a deep breath. And you wait and leave. The cold air filling your lungs is felt as much as the water you feel in your throat while drinking. You catch your eye on an old woman traveling with her curled up cat on her lap. How he caresses the cat. The cat is motionless, too tired to open its eyes. They warm each other. You smile at them too. And then you start looking at other things. There are other interesting people on the train. Sitting with a book in hand. A young man. You are looking at the cover of the book. It says horror stories. You are also wondering. What story is he reading? He turns the pages of the book. He pauses and thinks. Then continue reading again you wonder what stories he's talking about. Maybe he's reading the works of famous horror writers. Edgar Allan Poe, H.P. Lovecraft, Stephen King. There are other interesting people on the train. A young woman with a little daughter by her side. What does the woman tell her daughter? The girl also listens carefully. Is it fairy tale? You are listening to them too. 
that it's hard to hear. Sloppy. Girl happily clapping. The woman kisses him too. The girl shakes her head excitedly. You are smiling too. You also like fairy tales. But you could only read when you were a kid. As you get older, you forget. There are other interesting people on the train as well. A middle-aged man sitting with a magazine in his hand. You look at the cover of the magazine. It says science and technology. You are also wondering. What subjects is he reading? He turns the pages of the magazine. He stops and takes notes. Then he continues to read again. There are other interesting people on the train. But you are not looking at them. You're just looking out the window now. The train is moving fast. It is midnight. On the train, the number of people decreases at each stop. Front dash. Eleven dash. Nine dash. Eight dash. Seven dash. Six dash. Five. Every time the train stops, the people get cold inside. A cold wind is blowing. You are hugging your coat tightly. You draw another cat's paw on the steamed glass of the train. No one sees this. Because there is no one beside you. There is only you. The train is coming to the last stop. The train doors open. You're getting off too. There is no one around. There is only you. <laughs>